Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Shirley if you're new. And if you like these types of videos where I talk about luxury, travel vlogs, and a little bit about my life, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more. In today's video, I will be comparing a modern Chanel bag versus a vintage Chanel bag. I know with all these crazy price increases that Chanel has been giving kind of several times a year, and they're just not like small amounts, they're like a big, big hefty sum. And I know that because of all those price increases, some people kind of turn away from the brand and some people t steer toward the vintage market. And if you don't know which route you want to go to, whether that's a brand new bag or vintage style, then please keep on watching. So the two bags that I'll be comparing for this video is my small classic flap and my small Diana. They're both black with gold hardware. So my Chanel Classic flat is small and it has caviar leather. And according to the identification card, it was born in 2020. And I bought this bag in 2021. It was right before a price increase. So I'm like, whew, thank goodness. And my small Diana is my vintage piece. This, according to the identification card, it was born in the early 1990s, so like 1991 through 1994, one of those years. And I actually got this last year in 2020 as a venture style and I bought it from Instagram. Now that you know a little bit of history about these two bags, I do have more in-depth videos about each of these bags. So I can link them down below if you guys want to know more details about it. And without further ado, let's talk about the differences. Now the first difference is, to me, is the obvious answer. It's going to be the store experience and the accessories. So when you go into a designer store it just it feels different personally for me i love shopping in person rather than online so if i go into a chanel store and they have my bag it's just you just feel happy because like it's so lux it's like luxury all around you and you kind of get that experience there's not that many people in the store and you feel kind of more intimate you feel special and they serve you champagne and give you water and if you and if the store has the item that you want in stock, then like, I say go get it. You can get the box of a Chanel. You can get the Chanel box and then you get, you get the bag and then also your bag comes with all the original with the care instructions and everything. Now if you were to go for a vintage piece, you're going to have to go through like a like a resale market, whether that it's the real real or rebag and fashion file and etc. But when you were to go through, it's not guaranteed that you'll get the box and the bag. I mean, you'll get the authentication card, but it's not guaranteed. Personally, for me, for my vintage piece, I never saw it in person until I got it because I ordered through Instagram and you can see my video all about how I got the vintage piece. But again, with the vintage piece, you don't get the whole like, store experience. You don't get that champagne. You don't get like, you just don't get the whole thing. And I think, I think when you buy like a luxury piece, the luxury experience is part of it. So it's kind of really nice. So again, it's not like the most important part, of course. If you were to buy a brand new bag, you get the original dust bag, the box, the bag, and it's just so nice. Meanwhile, when I bought my vintage piece, it didn't come with the bag. It didn't come with the dust bag because it's so old. It can't, some things just get lost. You can find vintage pieces that are in the same, like, dust bag, the original dust bag, the original bag, of course. But personally, for my experience, with the bag and a dust bag, with the classic flaps, they have a special type of dust bag that they'll give you. And it's usually a white one like this. This is a dust bag that came with my vintage piece. Again, it's still very silky and still high quality. It's just not the original one. The second one is the hardware and the chain between the, between the two pieces. They, they both have the CC turn. So a key note to know if you were to go the vintage route, it's a pretty cool thing. With the vintage piece, the CC turn lock is 24 karat gold. Meanwhile, for if you were to if you were to get new bags now in stores, the CC turn lock in the new bags is just a gold toned hardware. I can like pause it and see it, but. So in 2008, Chanel discontinued the 24 karat CC turn lock. So from 2008 forward, all your bags were going to be are going to be the gold toned hardware. Personally, for me, I think it's like really special, and I think it's it just means a lot to me that this is actually 24 karat gold, and it's just it's sad that Chanel doesn't do it anymore. But if you were to go get go for the vintage piece, as long as your bag is older than 2008, you got that 
you got that 24 karat gold CC turn lock. And another thing that I noticed about the chain between to these two bags, I'm not sure if it's because they're just two different styles, but I do notice that the chains are different. Like you guys can see it through camera. They are two different. One that's more yellow gold is going to be my Diana flap. And then the one that's more kind of like, the one, this one is more kind of like a champagne toned gold is going to be the classic flap. They're both black with gold hardware, but you can see the hardware is two different colors. Look at that, that's crazy. And if you guys are curious, my Chanel classic flap is 17 inches from the drop down and then with the Diana it's going to be 21 inches and with the Diana you can actually wear a crossbody which is amazing it sits right by the hip for me and I'm 5'4 for this one I can still wear crossbody but it, it lands like by my stomach area so it's kind of a little bit uncomfortable with if you guys are comparing like the CC turn log honestly the, the usability of it is just it works the same I can turn it. It's a lot, with my vintage piece, it's a lot looser because I'm sure somebody else used it and they just kind of loosen it up a little bit. With this one, it's, with this one, it's still a little bit tight. And another thing that I did notice with my vintage flap, my vintage piece, again, not sure if it's because it's just a different bag. If I were to remove everything from the two bags, so now I have nothing in there. They're empty, like nothing's in it. And my Diana, my vintage piece is so much lighter. So if I were to just do weight, this one is lighter. This one is much lighter. And I'm not sure if it's because it's a different type of leather, like this one is lambskin, maybe lambskin is lighter. Not too sure about that. What I've also noticed that is if your bag has a zipper, if my vintage piece, the zipper does have this CC. Meanwhile, on my classic flap, I mean, granted it doesn't have a zipper, but the zipper here is just a regular zipper. The next difference is going to be the condition of the bag. A lot of people do say that because Chanel has such an increased demand nowadays that the quality kind of went down, which I think it's true. My vintage piece is 20 years old and it's still in such great condition. Granted, please keep in mind that if you were to buy a vintage piece, the better quality is the pricier it's going to be, but I don't think it's going to be as pricey as a brand new bag. I mean the condition for both is going to be good. Like they're, I put them side by side, but to me the condition is like the same. That's because I, when I was searching for my Diana, I wanted like a really good condition bag. If you go vintage, you have to be okay with your bag having scratches and it's not going to be perfect, but neither is a new one either. If you were to buy a new bag in store, it's not guaranteed that it's going to be perfect because I have been offered a bag before and I bought it, I paid for it and the essay was just, she just kept selling me the bag. She was like, oh, it, there's nothing wrong with it but there was an obvious scratch on there. So with the new ones, if you were to go for the new one, I recommend, even if there's a tiny scratch on it, say no. Because if you're buying a brand new bag for a couple thousand of dollars, you best believe you deserve the most perfect conditioned bag. Now with the vintage piece, you have to be a little bit more lenient. You have to be okay with the scratches. You have to be okay that your bag is a little bit more delicate. So. But that's the bad side of it, if buying a vintage bag, is that your, the bag that you get is not perfect. However, with the vintage piece, personally for me, I don't feel like I need to baby my vintage piece because I'm like, this, this girl has been through 20 something years and it's still in great condition. Granted, it still has scratches, but again, you have to be okay with it. Surprisingly, I baby my new one more. I don't know why. So personally, that's, that's just my opinion. I don't think the condition is as good as previous bags. The last difference is going to be price point. So I bought this in 2021 for about for five, five on the higher, like I think 5,800. And with my Chanel Vintage, I got this around $5,000 too. Granted, it's a very expensive Diana, but for some reason, 
Ever since the price increase went crazy, the Diana prices just went up and up and up. The vintage market is better price point because it's going to be a little bit cheaper but you have to be aware that if you want like a perfect condition one, it might be just the same price as if you were to buy a new bag or it might just even be a little bit more expensive. But with all these price increases, I know that the small classic flap is almost at $10,000 USD. So that is crazy to me because I don't think I would put money towards that. But again, the vintage classic flaps aren't far behind. I mean, granted, if you want a classic flap and you go through the vintage route, then I say go for it. You know, it's a little, it's going to be a little bit cheaper. After having this vintage piece for about almost a year now, I can say I love the vintage pieces. It just has so much history. Like somebody uses for a long time and kept in a great condition and now the torch has been passed to me. I mean, I would always take care of it no matter what. With all the price increases of the classic flap, I think if I were to like, if I didn't have my classic flap, I would, I would definitely look more into the vintage routes. If you want a caviar, be prepared to pay more. Like are there of which bag you get whether it's a brand new bag or a vintage piece examine the bag look at it like a million times look at it from every corner feel it and everything because you're paying thousands of dollars for a bag i say you should get the most perfect condition one but again vintage is not going to give you a perfect one but you can get the best you can try to you can try to aim for that one of the key things is i don't know if it's important to you but like <laughs> It's the smell of the bag. This is so weird, but I do smell my bag. So if you were to smell the, uh, a brand new bag, it smells new. It smells leather. It smells like leather. Well, as for a vintage bag, there's really no smell to it. Like, like there's no smell. Like, yeah, that's just something to like know. I don't know if it's just me being crazy, but like, I smell my bags. And that's it to my video. I hope I answered all your questions. And if you guys have any other questions, if you want a new bag or a vintage bag, please leave them in the comments down below. As always, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and hit subscribe for more. It would really help support my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye guys.